as a visa one join, so make us fall into broken. You understand? So the other one again, we are not talking. Now this this uh, song, you see this song. I don't know if some if you guys really understand what this song is talking means. This song, you know, sun shine upon the face of the earth, right? Sun shine in the day, right? So this is sun. For some of you who don't understand, hey, whatever they have darkness, when sun coming, darkness will run away and darkness will disappear. You understand? So when sun coming, darkness will flee. Darkness will run away. You understand? So that is this is that is sun. You know that's what sun is all about, right? So sun, when sun appear, when sun appear, then darkness will run away. So this sun is going to appear in the land of the east of the Niger in West Africa, which is Biafra land, right? Has nothing to do with Nigerian, yeah. You know. So this is our own sun, the children of sun, the children of light. You understand? So this sun will shine upon your life that have been subdued by the evil force. This sun will stand, will, will shine upon your life, your breakthrough will come. Okay? This sun that God gives to you to you see your daylight, you will use it to see your miracle. You, you understand? This sun will shine upon the road in the night. You know, we're going to have a lot of street lights everywhere. It's part of the sun. Okay? So this sun will generate you electricity. You understand? With this sun, this sun, you could put your solar panel with this sun, on this sun, and it generates you power. So it's not all about, oh, never take light, electricity gone. No. So this sun, we generate a lot of things, and this sun is our light. Okay? So whenever you see this sun, whenever you see this sun, think about it very well, because this sun is going to liberate Africa. This sun is going to shine light upon Africa. This sun is going to make you, you will live a comfortable life. Because when the sun comes upon your city, when the sun of Biafra will actualize, come upon you, then you can be able to be, you know, imagine a very great progress, success in your business, success in your life, and good life will fall upon you. You understand? So, this is, that's what this sun is all about. So this sun is going to give you hope. Okay? This sun is going to give you hope. This sun is going to give you hope. This sun is going to give you peace of mind and loving. Above all, your life will shine. You understand? So Biafra flag is designed by God Almighty. It's not man. You know, it's designed. God gives the inspiration to man to bring out this flag. This flag is very, very special. You understand? So this flag, I'm going to charge on more. <laughs> this flag, I'm going to charge on more. I lie, brothers. <laughs> this flag, I'm going to charge on You don't see a lot of people don't want to see this. They don't want to see this flag exist. They don't, people don't like to see. Some evil people, when they see this flag, they start shaking. You know, this flag, this flag, you know, because there's power, there's spirit. That represent this flag. I'm not a politician. I'm not even trying to be political correct. Okay, my duty is to make sure I see this flag on the air. That is that is my duty to see this flag on the air, flying among all countries, because this flag must come to existence, whether anybody born on this world like it or not. This world must surely come to existence. I lie, my brothers. When I tell people, let people know that this flag is God designed, God mandate. And this flag must surely come to actualize. You understand? Whether you like it or not. So, for another thing again, the other one I want to jump into is uh, election is around the corner. Anambra State election is around the corner. You understand? So, you that have been saying that no election, come out on social media, it is free. Don't be scared. Remember, if you're scared for your life, you're going to lose it. You know, thief, you don't do nothing wrong. 
You're only trying to express your feeling. Nothing wrong with that. It's even better for you to die fighting for freedom than for you to die as a coward. Than for you to die as a lukewarm, as a stupid man. You understand? It's better for you to make name while you die. So that they will, your name will go for your generation upon your generation. You will have a history. Come out and speak for freedom. If you might be looking at it that, oh, you don't have, it doesn't affect you. It will affect you in plenty of ways. It will affect you because when you want to ship your market, when you want to ship your market from China to Wanicha, you go, you, it will pass through Lagos. And the person you're going to see there is going to be Zaboki. It's a Malam. That's the chief of uh, uh, custom you see there. They will keep collecting money, collecting money, collecting money. When they finish, when the big one collect money, collect all the whole money in the seaport there in Tinka. By the time you bring out your container heading to Onicha, before you get down to Onicha, you know how much they will collect from you. So it will affect you. Do not say it's not going to affect you. It will affect you unless you don't want to expand. You don't want to grow in future. You know, what is bad if you buy goods from China, you ship them straight to Calabar or you ship them straight to Onicha? Nothing wrong with that. Nobody will collect money from you from road, road, road. When you know that your own brother is the one in the seaport there to check your thing properly. You know? So, it's not good. That's why I tell you it's going to affect you. If you think it's not going to affect you, it will affect you. Big time. You know? I have a problem with that. You understand? You want to buy products from Biafra to ship down. You want to buy a bar product or whatever. Because a bar is a very good, a bar make a very good product this time around. People use it to joke, say a bar made a bar. A bar made is one of the best in the world. Even Italian are so jealous of a bar made because Italian know that if a bar come to reality, if Biafra come to reality and a bar start escorting outside the country, a lot of sales will drop. A lot of sales coming from Italy, coming from China, Japan, they will drop. Because Biafra will manufacture what you cannot imagine. Biafra can manufacture it. You understand? If you know you like what I'm saying, man, hit like, you know, or you share it to your friends so that they will see it. You understand, brother? So Biafra is going to make a change. As I am, I don't involve myself in things that doesn't make sense. Whoever thinks that Biafra doesn't make sense, let the person go and search himself very well. It's going to affect you if you believe that Biafra to you does not make sense. It will affect you. I keep shouting this day and night. If you see what your people is doing, support them. Don't follow the people who don't support your people, who want to kill you. To say, oh, your people are bad people. Your people are thieves. Your people are Biafra. All kind of talk. You guys will be very careful because Biafra is a spirit. You understand? So, it is not a joke. The Anambra election, the Anambra election, the people have voted for years, since 60s, they've been voting, and they still don't have no electricity in their yard. They've been voting. The people have been voting for years. They cannot pay their children's school fees, but they're voting, you see? Now, the people have been voting for years, right? When they, when they go to hospital, they will ask them to deposit money, even if you are at point of death. Only in that country they do that. I've never seen anywhere in this world they do that. Why? Because hungry. Hungry. The, the doctors, them, they're all hungry. Hunger. Hungry, they hammer them like crazy. You understand? So they believe me, they collect that one with a C first. They don't believe, say, you get money with a B or whatever. So that's why they must charge. Even say you get gunshot, they must charge you first. Make you pay money before they start commence treatment. It's a crime. It's not good. It's not good. You don't do that in outside country. You don't do that in abroad. If you try it, if that person die, if you try it and that person die, believe me. So if you try it, if you try it, you're gonna face the bigger, bigger, bigger consequence. It be you a doctor or whatever. Once a patient come in your hospital and you're supposed to treat that patient and you say go and bring such an amount of money and that patient die you are in big trouble believe me you are in very big even if that patient don't have no money to see you, the government the people will take over that case they will take that case and make sure they persecute you because you're evil and that's exactly what is happening in that country and you people still keep quiet and enjoying that so you, are, you guys cannot come out for change politicians do not tell you that though. they don't tell you that if you're sick they're going to um, 
you will go to hospital. Nobody will ask you for deposit. They don't tell you that because they know that too big for them to tell you. It's a lie. You understand? So all that need, all that that's the change the people want this time around. And that's why we want the Health Healthcare that will take care of the people when the people are sick. So that you can just pay little money and then take care of you very well. With the kind of amount of money that is coming out from that land, I don't think you guys have a problem because the BF1 it's coming up with a civilized civilized system abroad, the system that we they do in abroad, international. That's the system we're coming up. You have a treasure. You know? Each local government have their own treasure. Where you will pay. You're not gonna pay police. Police don't receive no money. Okay? Custom. They don't receive no you have where you will go pay. All those things. You understand? The treasure. That's how the Afghan government is gonna be. So we're coming out with it. It's going to be a brand new country that everything will be computerized. Everything will be computerized. Everything will be understandable. When, it, when Biafran gets restored, right? You that want to come out for politics, I mean, it's not my line. I'm not even want to be one. You understand? Because I have so much things to do in life that will make me comfortable. It's not politics. I'm not coming out to be a politician. I'm not even coming out to say anything politicians. I'm not trying to be political correct or whatever you might be thinking. So I'm only here because my father tell me about Biafra as a little boy. Always let me know that, son, you are a Biafra. We are not Nigerian. You understand? He put that on me as a little boy. I grew up. I see Biafra restoration struggle come out. I have to participate on it. Because if I don't participate on it, that means I'm a coward. And that means my, my father in the grave might strike me because I abandoned his struggle. My father fought for Biafra hard till the end. Those are the people who, when they in the battlefield, they hear one Nigerian, one Nigerian, they say, oh, what? You know, they start hearing radio, telling that, oh, uh, it's one Nigerian now, this is that. Because of the starvation, our people are dying too much. The children are dying of hunger. That's why the Biafran give up the war. Nigerian do not defeat Biafra. Remember, Nigerian invaded Biafra, and Biafran defend themselves. Biafran do not get defeated, and Biafran will never be defeated. Because if Biafran was defeated, you were not going to see us, you know, and you were not going to see the little children, or not to talk about the women protesting. You're not going to see them. So Biafran can never be defeated because Biafran is a spirit. And Biafran is an ideology. You understand? So you can never quench it. You can never do it. You can kill the messenger, but you can never kill the message. Because the message continues to extend from generation to generation. So Biafra is a mandate. Whether you like it or not, if, if, if you think what I'm saying is trash, or I'm just, you know, pity, I'm just making noise or beating around the bush or I don't, maybe I don't have none to do. Biafra is a mandate, is a spirit. It must surely come. You understand? So whether you like it or not, whether the politicians like it or not, the only one person, that's what I want to let you all know, and he must state governor, only him, one. If there's anything he has to cast his own one person vote, I hate to hear uh, with the leader of the Eastern and with the ASNB, with the, the people who have forsake you guys, man. The, you guys are not representing them no more. So that's why they don't even stand behind you guys. And right now, everybody are into this restoration of Biafra. You understand? Which is the mandate, God-given mandate that everybody must understand. That Biafra is not a joke. I don't know how you guys, I don't know how we have to explain this for you guys to understand this. I'm not laughing. I'm serious, dead serious in anything in life that I'm doing. Once it's something good, I'm very careful. Once it's, once it's something good in life, therefore, you will see, once it's something that is good in life, 